A career plan statement is quite important and in this video we're going to discuss how you can map out your career statement in the Commonwealth Scholarship Essay. We'll start us off immediately. We're going through the career plan questions. As always, we have some housekeeping rules. This is not a passive video. Get your pen and paper or typing device and follow along. Pause the video when requested to think through the discussion and have a draft by the end of this video. Having bullet points while we're going through the questions will be very helpful as you structure out your own essay. So what is requested of us is the selection panel will want to understand how your proposed study will assist you in your career. In this section, we're going to describe the skills that you expect to gain from this scholarship and your career plans once you return afterwards. The first is objectives during the award and those are 250 words. Tips to consider include state clearly what you will do while studying in the Okay. Emphasis on the term clearly. Be as clear as possible when writing out what you're going to do while studying in the UK. And you could consider your performance in your MSc. You could also consider the fact that you will study how the UK system operates in your chosen field of study. This could be the UK health system, the environment system, education system, whatever you're going to study. And so you could talk about the fact that you're going to look at how the UK system handles that particular field of study. You could also point out some UK policies that you could have read up online uh, that you're looking to look into something like that. Then you could also consider talking about the networks you're going to have with professionals, whether this will be at the university or through the CSC workshops that you'll be participating in. And also you could look at leadership opportunities you could take on volunteering and engaging in social activities. Personally, when I was at the University of Dundee, I took on a leadership position. I was the student representative for the course that I was undertaking. So you can look at taking on leadership positions, which are very good and can enhance the leadership skill set. Now, before we get into the example, this is a perfect time for us to pause. So pause this section and write out your bullet points according to the tips we have that we have to consider okay we'll get straight into the example as you all know by now we're using wangari mathai as an example if you haven't watched who wangari mathai is we introduce her at the beginning of the first questions that's the development impact question so you can go to that so let's go through this the msc environment politics and development program at sosu university of london presents the opportunity for me to enhance my research skill set in their world leading research led department on environmental sustainability and how the UK is implementing green policies. My objective is to take advantage of the various professors who are experts on governance for development in Africa as well as leverage on the university's relationship with Department for International Development, that's the DFID, to develop strategies for women economic empowerment from DFID's experience. I will also aim to excel in my master's with a distinction through tuned research, sharing, knowledge, and engaging in group discussions. As an agent of change that inspires development in Kenya, I look forward to enhance my leadership skills by taking on leadership roles such as class representative or take on the role of an international student ambassador. As an environmental activist, I intend to join clubs of this cause or initiate a club if it is not in existence. I am equally excited to visit London, learn the culture, and make long life friendships with citizens and international I interact with. I intend to visit the Apollo Theatre in London, the world's first carbon neutral theatre, which has reduced its carbon footprint by 25% since 2012. And this was all for 212 words. Let's analyze this step one. I'd want us to consider the points we earlier on talked about and see if they are covered in the statement. State clearly what you will do while studying in the UK. I think that has been done. Performance in the Masters. The essay speaks of the MSc with a distinction, so we've covered that. Study how the UK system operates in your chosen field of study. We had that in our first paragraph where we talked about my objective is to take advantage of the various professors. Uh, 
actually here the university's relationship with the department of dfid to develop strategies for women economic empowerment we also looked at real policies then network with professionals uh, which we saw here various professors then participating in CSE workshops well this i didn't mention it however you can mention it it will be advantageous uh, and yeah you could mention it maybe around how you're going to interact with internationals in the CSC uh, but you could also interact with international and local citizens through classes so you can consider putting that in the leadership volunteer and engage in social activities leadership we talked about it and engage in social activities that is clubs and also looked at visiting like the Akola theater so this is something I just googled and in the google search I put London activities and environment just to see what's going to come up and so you can do that London activities or UK activities and your field and you see what activities you can come up with we'll go to the next example again same question but number two is career plans in the five years following the award tips to consider include you need to recall how this is similar to question two and three of the development impact questions so you have to be consistent then do not copy and paste rather expound or paraphrase what you had in two and three but keep it consistent is be smart about it. Smart is specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time bound. Anytime you have career plan related questions in any scholarship essay, you have to use or apply the smart approach. You have to be specific in your plans. Your plans have to be measurable, they have to be achievable, realistic, and time bound. So some of the examples you can consider for your short or mid term, which is five years, is community work, advocacy, media houses, trainings, etc. So let's see how we apply this. But before we do that, this is a great time for you to pause and make your own bullet points on what you think you'll be able to do in the first five years after the award. Remember, this has to be specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time bound. So pause right here before we can Okay, we'll get straight into the example and we'll see that Wangari Mathai could have said, On my return to Kenya, I will liaise with 50 community leaders to create community groups and sensitize them on the importance of conservation of the environment by sharing lessons learned from my master. I will also carry out annual fundraising drives to gather finances that will buy seedlings to give to the community groups to encourage community-based tree planting targeting 3 million trees. In order to contribute to poverty reduction while saving natural forests, I will use my experience from studying on environmentally sustainable economic development to set up at least two bamboo community-based craft centers per year for the first five years for women who are marginalized in the community for them to generate sustainable income. I will also use both my local and international networks to create market opportunities for the bamboo products. I will also work with media houses such as the National Africa and Standard Media as well as social media platforms to educate Kenyans on the realities of climate change and how Kenya's contribution to environmental conservation affects Kenya and the world. As an environment activist, I will continue to advocate for policies that protect the environment and hold the government accountable for approving investments that do not put into consideration conservation of environment. As an advocate, I will also carry out research in hope for government to use it to inform environmental policies. And this is about 228 words. Of course, you might have realized some grammatical errors here and there, but that's the importance of writing your essays and then reading through them, you start to realize a few grammatical errors. Other than that, let's check out if we've covered the basics. We want to see if you are uh, first of all consistent with question two and three, which if you go back to the videos, you'll find that yes, we were consistent. Then also I did copy and paste. I expounded or paraphrased quite a number of things. Then I was smart about how I was writing and we're going to see that. By smart, we see a specific about maybe how many community leaders, the number of trees, the impact, and who I'm going to work with. That is National Africa Standard 
media and so be as specific as you can in the kind of work that you're going to do then let's uh, some of the examples you can consider in the first five years could include community work advocacy working with media houses trainings research you see that one very much time maybe could be writing that you work with community leaders media houses and so on so as you write your own example you might want to put into consideration all the things that we've talked about in this particular example we'll go on to the next question long-term career plans as well as this will be 250 words so tips to consider again you need to recall how you wrote out question two and three the development impact question so you have to be consistent and pick out just what is relevant for the long term do not copy and paste but rather expand and paraphrase can't stress that enough be smart about it again any scholarship that is asking you about career plans you have to be specific measurable achievable realistic and time bound examples here include a number of things but to be stressed one of the things that i would like to stress is do not be tempted to write the same things that you wrote in your short-term plans rather you could consider if you want to run for office the long-term partnerships that you could be involved in you could also consider if you want to open up if you want to run your own organization things that you think that you can only achieve in the long run so pause here write a few bullet points on some of the things you think that can only be achieved in the long run okay so we'll look at our example again Wangari Mathai maybe could have written something like in the long run I will serve in the office of the Minister for Environment and Natural Resources as a policy advisor with the aim of influencing and developing policies that support environment conservation currently Kenya does not have policies in place that protect forests therefore I will utilize my international networks and exposure to UK systems develop the national forest policy and and Kenya's forestry related nationally determined contribution targets. I will also take on a member of parliament leadership position of the two constituency Yeri district in central Kenya to influence development in communities and ensure implementation of said policy. As a researcher and environmental activist, activist I will set up Wangari Mathai Institute for Peace and Environmental Studies, bringing together academic research with the Green Belt Movement approach. I will also set up a media house that solely focuses on disseminating news and information on environment and climate change. I will also aim to represent Kenya on global platforms such as the Millennium Development Goals Advocacy Group with the aim to galvanize worldwide support for the achievement of Millennium Development Goals. So that is it. Again, you realize there could be some grammatical errors and that's the importance of reading through your essay. But again, make sure from this you can see it's a bit different from what we have written in our five years question. And now for this, we are expounding maybe a little more and looking further into the 10 years. For example, we're running for office. You may not be able to run for office in the first year after your master's, or you may not be selected to represent Kenya in the first year after your master's. So put that into consideration. What are some of the things you're looking to do in the long Long run or that can be achieved in the long run remember a smart acronym specific measurable but attainable all the examples that you have to, you give must be attainable and so that is it for our question three and a career plan and again i'll always leave us with a quote from Wangari Mathai what people see as fearless is really persistent so be persistent and you'll be seen as fearless until next time, remember, it might be hard, but nothing impossible. Even the very many questions that Commonwealth has, my gosh, 11 questions haven't been easy to research and write up along a busy schedule, but we shall complete them this week. Until next time, our next question will be on personal statement. Good luck. And that was the career plan essay. In the comment section, let me know what is your career plan. Until next time, remember, it might be hard, but nothing is ever impossible. See you at the next essay.